At an unknown stage of their history, the new Dalek paradigm discovered the superweapon known as the Cradle of the Gods and learned of its ability to create or destroy on a massive scale. To make use of the weapon, the Daleks used a huge galactic recession to their advantage and created 400 planets to provide homes to the billions of people affected, which were collectively referred to as the Sunlight Worlds. It was governed by the Dalek Foundation, with the planet Carthedia of the Earth Alliance acting as a head of state. While a generation of people believed the Daleks had created a welfare state, it was in fact a plan headed by the Dalek Time Controller and the Dalek Supreme to transform the 400 worlds into copies of Skaro. However, the Daleks were unable to activate the cradle and so they sent an anonymous message in the form of a hypercube to the Doctor's TARDIS with the intention of manipulating him into activating the cradle instead. The Doctor's investigations resulted in shock when he learned the Daleks were considered a force for good and he was placed on trial while trying to convince the citizens of Carthedia that they were evil, which the Daleks had declared a hate crime. He was put on trial by the Dalek litigator, who was really the Dalek time controller posing as a law enforcer, and when he pleaded guilty in a failed attempt to anger the Dalek and was sentenced to imprisonment, he escaped off-planet with three orphan children, Sable, Jennebeth and Ollis Blakely, whose parents, Terran and Alist, had killed themselves to prevent the Daleks from obtaining the information on the cradle they possessed. After learning more about the cradle on the desert planet of Gethria and losing Genebeth, the Doctor tried to spark a revolution on Sunlight 349 to cause the collapse of the Dalek Foundation but he could not gather the necessary support. The Dalek litigator arrived and subjected the Doctor to another public trial. Sable and Ollis were taken away from the Doctor's care and he was exiled from the Sunlight Worlds. However he returned to Gethria 90 years in the future and encountered an elderly Genebeth who had been transformed into a Dalek puppet after the Daleks took her prisoner as a child. The Dalek time controller arrived and forced the Doctor to activate the cradle but Genebeth's childlike mind allowed her to resist her conditioning and she fired on the Daleks, destroying numerous drones and forcing the time controller to retreat and the Doctor set the cradle to self-destruct. Before the cradle exploded, it reverted the Sunlight Worlds to how Genebeth remembered them as a child, as well as turning her and her siblings back into children and recreating their parents, although their memories were reverted too. The Daleks abandoned the plan. Pros. The Dalek Generation.